Good evening. Tonight, the I team is investigating the Lincoln Heights Police Department. Nine on your side, Chief Investigator Brendan Keefe uncovered a confidential payout to citizens tasered and arrested improperly by Lincoln Heights police officers. We poured through nearly 2,000 documents, some of them confidential, to discover some of the convicted criminals in Lincoln Heights were wearing a uniform and a badge. You're about to hear a secret recording of an arrest made by one resident so afraid of the police, he carried a hidden camera. I realize now I walked into a trap. He stopped me in the back at the. I just can't believe it. Michael Glover was arrested in Lincoln Heights, a village of 4,000 residents and 17 police officers, including Officer Angela Taylor. The officer, ma'am, remember me? And before I could say another word, uh, Taylor was, was charging me. And she had a gun in her hand. And I'm looking down, I'm staring down the barrel of, of, of the gun, and uh, I'm just frozen like a, a deer in headlights. And it started with headlights. An internal affairs report shows the incident was, quote, caused by Officer Taylor's patrol vehicle operating on high beam status. The lights were so unusually bright that I could not see in front of me. And I pulled over, and they passed, and then they worked themselves back around me again. And, and ran me off again. The internal affairs report shows Mr. Glover decided to walk away and re enter his vehicle. He never made it. Officer Taylor should have used her training to de escalate the situation. When he attempted to leave, she did not have enough reasons to detain him. Instead, she called for backup. Stop me in the back, full force, right, right over the screws that hold my spine together. Reviewing the audio recording, the I team counted 29 times when Glover either told the officers he didn't do anything or asked why he was being handcuffed and tasered. When they finally rolled him over, there was a magazine full of bullets on the ground. He's got the bullets. He's got a gun. You know, when you say that around police officers, that's pretty much death right there. The bullets belong to the only convicted criminal at the scene. Not Glover. He was unarmed, and the charges of disorderly conduct and resisting arrest were dismissed. The bullets had been dropped by Sergeant Leroy Smith. The officer was convicted in 1996 for falsification, then violated his probation. Within the last two years, this has been some very trying times for my department. Chief Conroy Chance had promoted Smith to his second in command, but demoted and fired him this year. After a sting operation by sheriff's investigators, Sergeant Smith was arrested for felony theft while on duty. Is it fair to say that there are some hires that occurred before your tenure that were questionable hires or maybe shouldn't have been made in the first place? Yes, and now you know we're actually paying the cost of those decisions that were made back then. Literally paying. $240,000 in this confidential settlement with other residents who were beaten and arrested by police in 2008 on charges that didn't stick. The officer came back and he, and he tased me from behind. We are living in a sick place when we let guys like this become officers. That's what high school science teacher William Franklin and former Vice Mayor Gary Brown said before they sued the police department. In return for cash settlements, both men signed non-disparagement agreements promising not to in any way criticize the village of Lincoln Heights to anyone, including the news media. Officer Maddox, Officer Smack, and Officer Caps beat me while I had my handcuffs on. Those officers are still on the force. Officer Stephen Maddox had been a Cincinnati police officer but was fired in 2005 when he was convicted of sexual imposition for groping a woman while on duty. Officer Philip Capps was fired by Lincoln Heights in 2001, then rehired. Since then, he's been written up for a pattern of behavior flirting with female drivers and issuing bogus citations when they didn't respond to, quote, his flirtatious advances. Capps was required to quit five 
biker gangs, including the made men and the ground assassins, after he showed up during a jury trial in uniform to support a fellow biker charged with a felony. Corruption. It is embedded in Lincoln Heights. Marcus Simpson has been vocal in lodging complaints against the police department. He joined Michael Glover's lawsuit against Lincoln Heights when he too was arrested on charges that were later dismissed. They need a house cleaning. The only way he get rid of the cancer is to cut it out, all of it. You can't leave any of it because it will fester and regrow. What we have here is a cancer. Despite these detailed internal investigations, many reprimanded officers didn't get fired, they got promoted. Officer Angela Taylor was an unpaid auxiliary officer when she confronted Michael Glover. She was promoted to a paid officer after she was written up for inviting a male officer into her dressing room with the phrase, come on in, I'm naked. Tonight, Taylor is the department's detective in charge of investigations. Brendan Keefe, 9 on your side.